Hey, buddy. You're about to see the Grand Canyon for the first time. Yeah. You ready to see the Grand Canyon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More adults fall than uh, than kids because yeah because adults are the ones that get too close. First impressions. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, so it is time to get everything started. tried to do my meditation out here a couple days ago and there was helicopters flying by constantly. It makes me think about how kind of insane the world can be and how much is coming at us all the time and can we keep our center. <laughs> if you're being guided then the places you end up are places you're supposed to be. You're going to be challenged in specific ways takes just as much energy to give up as it does to commit. Everywhere we are in our life is where we need to be to allow ourselves to grow in the way our particular purpose needs to grow. So how much can we sit in the truth of that despite all the distractions and all the things that seemingly are coming at us that want to test our resolve.
definitely wasn't like this the first time we came here. They're gonna like cut to the footage. You thought I was gonna like cut to the footage? spiritual significance to why we're here? Absolutely. It is no coincidence that we are being faced with these challenges right now. But yet, you know, just a couple miles away is one of the most magnificent places on this earth to remind us that I think anything's possible. I feel like I'm being called there, and so I'm really looking forward to just being on the edge of the canyon and allowing its energy to just kind of heal me a little bit. Well, we finally found parking, and this place is packed. Despite the fact that we have a map, we still don't know where we are. Walk in the direction that you know you need to go, and eventually you'll find. We'll just take this road less traveled. <laughs> How am I going to bleep that up? Sorry. sorry. Are you sorry? I mean, not really. I think sometimes a good F is... You should know. You use it all the time. rest for lunch and then we can hit Mojave Point and take the bus back down to Mojave Point. Hey guys you can sit in those front seats. It's 
like so picturesque. Yeah, it's a magical place for sure. We're super blessed to be here. Grand Canyon is impressive. Uh, incredibly powerful place. You can almost feel like the mystical energy. some resources that we were depending on to continue to travel for the next few months on um, are in delay of getting to us. It's been a little stressful and uh, there's been a lot of uncertainty. In spite of that, we're really doing our best to continue to trust that this is the right path for us. Right now we are at this amazing place that just gets our mind off of all of that and reminds us to be grateful and to enjoy the journey. It reminds me of labor, <laughs> a little bit of birthing a child. When the surges would come, or I would fight it and get really resistant to it, and my whole body would tense up. And then Fritz, in the midst of it, just said, you know, you need to relax, and you need to, to accept it, and just really sink yourself into it. And he was so right. I feel like in this moment, to resist it and get really uncomfortable and stressed out is just gonna cause more problems. So I'm sitting in it. I'm breaking through a threshold that I've been working on for a while, and I feel like I'm, I'm really growing in my own trust and intuition of myself and that I do know what I want. <laughs> I don't know what next week is going to bring, but um, I trust that it's going to be beautiful. do so great with heights and this particular part of the trail is definitely spooky right here signature <laughs> no don't put it in how big can you make your love the spectacle of creation is everywhere around us and all we have to do is tune into it and allow that force to come through and the essence of that creative force is love it's my belief we will see a time where spirituality and our connective universe and our sciences start to work together in harmony. And quite frankly, I feel like that's a lot of where we've gone wrong. We've thrown the baby out with the bathwater. To me, the idea that everything is dependent on what man can do is egotistical. Your mom and I have just packed you through the Grand Canyon with food and your little body. Can you please sit down on your seat? Please? Please sit down. Do you want a treat? Take a seat. I'm going to get it out right now. You got to sit down. I think Barbara is against like good parenting. 
laughs, oder? Ein bisschen. Kein Kind. We have to laugh, right? This is just ridiculous. Bye, Gay. Bye, Gay. lesson I feel like I've learned from my kundalini yoga practice is that perfection is irrelevant. We move in the direction of and we keep up and we trust that if we're keeping up we'll be kept up. It's a, a state of mind where we're moving beyond fear, doubt, attachment to outcome. Because there's too much at stake I have to believe that there's something greater involved here that there is a spiritual truth running through our life and our family and that we will be taken care of. I'm so glad that we went out today. Um, I really needed to just be reminded of the magnificence of my life, I think. Something that I haven't always lived by, but I'm understanding that it is so important is that we need to do things that create joy in our life that excite us, that make us happy. You know, those things are in line with our purpose and the reason why we're here. I'm understanding that the more that I bring that joy into my life every single day, the more that I will um, manifest my dreams. Well, I was really feeling just like wonderful today. I had so much fun filming and hiking and being with my guys. I'm putting it out there into the world that I get to do that all the time. Ready? Bust food? Ready? So...